Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js with Twilio. Today we are going to learn how to do the OTP verification with the help of the Node.js and the Twilio SMS Gateway API. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video because sometimes we required whenever we have a sign up, right? We want to verify the phone number is correct or not with the OTP verification, right? So let's, this is the tutorial on that one OTP verification. So let's get started. So here we have the code level. So here we have to go with the two functions, right? So first of all, we have the account SID or token and this all are required. These are the packages, JSON Web Token and Express. Okay. So a Twilio are also required, right? So account SID or token you will also get from the Twilio account. And currently my account gonna have expired. So if you want to use it, then definitely write me down in the comment section that you are using my token and our token, right? So next we have the sign up. This is the sign up process where we are triggering the OTP. Okay, so here we have just let me explain the whole scenario. So username and number we are getting from the body parameter, right? And then we have this one. If the existing user, then user is already exists with the same number and the check, right? And here we have the digits where here we have making the phenomena of sending the OTP that is four digit number. So you can use the math.random or something that to generate the four digit OTP number. So this is my number. This is message service ID and the body OTP verification code. Okay. And then if it is true, then make it message sent done. Okay. Then we have the, this is the, you can say about the sign up process. Okay. Where we send the OTP registration part. So after the verification, we are just adding the user before not. If the user is verified and returning the token, then we are saving the user. So let's have a look of the postman API. So here I'm going to delete the user before it is already there. Okay, so I'm going to delete this one. So let's create another one. So let's send this one, sign up, send. And uh, let's have a check the OTP. Message sent, check the OTP. nine double three okay so let's try to verify this otp over here so this you have the sign of verify the otp is nine three 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 okay just send it you can see that it's verified okay if i go just if it is, it is verified then definitely it's added into the r code base you can see that it's added the id okay so this is how we are able to sign up and verify on the same note okay you can add the name phone number or something with this one all right so let's have a look on with let's do with the sign up process also so this is sign up is done now we have go with the sign in process okay so in the sign in we are going to take the find the number because but we haven't saved the number into our user okay so let's go with uh, uh, register no without registering we can also sign in with the phone number okay we have the functionality like if the number is not there in the database then we can also sign in right so with the verification otp they can we can also do the signing process right so let's use the sign in and we require the number over here so let's add the number over here so here i'm just adding my two number from here to here just okay so here I'm adding my number. You can make it dynamic accordingly. And I'm going to restart this one. Okay, so let's go and just add the sign in. This is again the post request. It's required only number. So let's go and just add it. Sign in. Okay, so let's post this request. Message sent successfully. Let's have a look on that. OTP is coming. 5768. Let's verify this OTP. And have, what is the route of that one? So here we go with this route. OTP is same code which we have written out in the previous one. Okay. Now we have to verify and then we have to sign in the user. Okay. So let's use the sign in and the verify and the OTP. 
so here we go with this sign in right and let's add the OTP over here what is the OTP 5768 okay. so let's check this one you will receive the token now you can uh, you have the token then you can sign in the user with that your uh, use phone number or you can save the phone number into your database name as you can take the parameters sign up process you can take the email username password anything you can take and do the uh, otp verification after that okay so in that note it will help on that way okay so yeah that's it any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section what exactly if you have query like uh, where you get the sid or or token or something you can just write me down in the comment section i will reply on that okay so any doubt any query let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day